Hey everyone, bienvenido and welcome back to I Just Watch. Today we're talking Prey, but before I get into it, I gotta hit you with the usual, which is hopefully you like this video enough to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified. Alrighty people, so I gotta hit you with the spoiler warning before I forget. I really love how this movie brings it back to what made the original Predator so great. For, like for me personally, it's been a rocky road since Predator and Predator 2. I don't mean my favorite flavor of ice cream, all right? Everything since then hasn't sparked anything. There was one that I enjoy, and I think every time I, I, I've seen it, I, I like pieces of it more, and that's Predators. I enjoy that one, I like it, but it was missing something, something that just wasn't like, wow, I need more of this, you know? It, it was like, okay, yeah, you know, like I enjoy it, I'm starting to like it a little bit more, or appreciate it appreciated a little bit more but nothing has really hit like the first two for, especially the first one it's hard to top the original anyways however i really think that Frey did that it did that for me predator franchise really needed it. it's like a new spark i love this movie i gotta be honest i loved it i really love learning about the comanche tribe seeing the connections built with naru aka amber mid thunder and her brother tob aka dakota beavers they were great she killed it for me. I thought she was she was great. She was funny. She was intense. She was a badass bitch. Deadass. Hob, her brother. I want to be a warrior like him. My boy was handling his bin. I really like their bond because, you know, usually you'll get like the, yes, they will kind of pick on each other and mess with each other, which is normal. You know, that's what you do with siblings. But I love the fact that when she had an idea or wanted to try something or do something he would he would actually like try to support her and make her a part of the the hunting party a part of him like he believed in her that much so he would be like yeah you know what let's try it in our way she wants to do that let's try it so i actually like that because he wasn't just this brother who's like you can do it no he was like let's do it you know i actually really enjoyed that and i thought it was cool that throughout the whole thing he was worried but he was like i'm gonna help you and you're gonna pass. We need. You're gonna. You're gonna get it. All right. You're gonna pass this test that makes you an official hunter, makes you an official warrior. How she would train after like doing her morning duties after being kicked awake every day. She would train. You know. You got to see her creativity. You got to bond, grow with Sari. Sari, that dog, that furry companion of hers. The dog was stealing the show at moments, and there was moments when I thought something was gonna happen to that dog, and I would have been furious. And I think Naru and Sari made a great team. You know, the way they interacted, the way they also showed how smart Naru was because the way she trained Sadi. This go around, they definitely went with a more monstrous, savage design for the Predator. And at first, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting because I took it that showing how, you know, you go back two, three hundred years, the Yaucha themselves, the Predators are still developing. They're always changing, you know. There's different tribes, there's different uh, designs to each predator making them, you know, unique. Of course, it doesn't have like that classic feel the original one has, but this one where it doesn't have that classic sleekness makes up in like brooding intense and brutality. So I was like, okay, so we lose a little bit of that sleek fawn's coolness for like, rah. I started liking it more because I was like, okay, this, this yacht is like a little bit more menacing. It's like, felt more intimidating. And the combination of the sound design used with the Predator, I think, also helped sell me on it. Because I love when he would run or, like, maneuver, you would hear the weight to him. You'd hear, you could see him, like, the agility from jumping tree to tree, the strength, the the overall, like, brutalization when it came to killing folk. He was using his bare hands to fight the grizzly, you know, trying to, like, really go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And then one punch kills that grizzly at the end of the fight. And I was like, the weapons we get to see, because, you know, going back, are we going to keep the classic laser blaster? Or are we going to, you know, again, show how through time they develop to become better hunters, more uh, capable and whatnot. So I actually like the weapon choices. So you had the spear, which is classic, but I like the fact that the spear, uh, it doesn't break, but uh, uh, breaks and becomes a, like a sword and a mace. The shield, the cradle shield, I say that because like, it expands and goes down. That's clearly sharp as hell. You get this little centipede looking thing that cuts, they like wraps and cuts through arms and limbs like nothing but also cauterizes. I was like, okay, like these, these are some interesting weapons. And then I actually really enjoyed their take on the gun. So instead of having the laser blaster, 
he has a gun with three arrows and their targeting system is the laser. The, so the original three laser is actually the three arrows and then eventually becomes the laser blaster. I actually really like that. I thought it was cool to see something a little bit different and the fact that these arrows, they don't just shoot. Like where that laser is pointing, if that laser is pointing that way and my boy shoots this way, they're gonna hit. I thought that was really neat to see and show us that look, yes, this is what, two, 300 years in the past. I apologize, can't remember exactly. But so, you know, it's like, okay, so they clearly developed, which we knew, but it was nice to get like that confirmation. I love the, the smart callbacks to the originals. Of course you have the, if it bleeds, we can kill it. And then like another one, which is a kind of a bigger one, which is the, uh, the flintlock pistol at the end. What this movie really did is like, I love this movie. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the fight scenes, the brutality, the kills. I like the way that final fight takes place between Naru and the Predator itself. The brother, like, I really like the way they expanded, but kept it where it needs to be. You know, it's not about fancy weaponry. It's about creativity and skill. And it comes down to that fight. I thought that was really good. I enjoyed it thoroughly. And what this did really was make me crave or want a series or a movie but that focuses on the yacha you know the predators it shows people how deep and crazy their lore actually is if they did it through the perspective or following an unblooded predator going on um on their first hunt to become blooded showing us the different tribes the different ranks the police force they have you know, showing us the good and the bad tribes, the outlaws. Like, you can show us this whole real crazy world that exists with all the different predators. And, you know, on this first hunt, when you're following this unblooded, on his on his trip to become a, you know, a blooded ranked member of the tribe. So then, you know, you can move up to elite, veteran, elder, you know, so they can move up. You know, I think it would be cool if they take it to a different planet and you see another alpha monster species that they have to go hunt and it's through his perspective so you get to see the struggle and intensity of him trying to deal with this crazy alien in their lore there's a, there's it's humans xenomorphs and there was a third one i can't remember what it's called that if you kill one of those three you become blooded so it could be the third one so that way it's not us a xenomorph would be great but i doubt we get that anytime soon but i think that'd be great and it would be fun and it would teach people about their lore, their backstory. And you can really see their capabilities and what they're capable of. Yeah, sorry. I want that to come out better. However, I feel like maybe the biggest issue would be the language barrier. Because obviously we don't speak Yaucha. However, whenever it's their perspective, speaking to one another, each other, just have it be English. Because they understand each other. Thus, it's translated. So we understand because it's through their perspective. Whenever it's outside looking in from any perspective, a different, uh, an alien creature hearing noises or whatever, then it's back to those classic noises, you know, those grunts and shit. I think that'd be cool. Because, I mean, for one, the helmet translates. So I think that gets us over the language barrier so you can have clear and easy dialogue. Getting that out the way, I think the story would be great. I think it would be fun. I think people would love it. And then we could really see the lore behind the Predators. Also... I watched Prey. I've seen it a couple times. I've watched it, of course, in English with my subtitles, baby, because I need them. But then I watched the whole thing and the Comanche dub, and that was cool. I took it, I'm probably wrong, but I took it in the original version, just the regular English version, because they were speaking to each other. We didn't hear the Comanche dialect. They were just We just heard English because they understood each other. Because when you see the, I'm assuming they're like French or the Trappers, the, the evil oppressor people. It sounded like French at times, but also at times it sounded like gibberish. And not just because I'm like, I don't understand that language, but because it sounded like gibberish. So I took it as when she is speaking with her people, they understand each other. Thus, we understand it. Outside looking in, gibberish. You see what I'm saying? That's how I took it. I want to hear your thoughts. Have you seen it? If you haven't, highly recommend it. I would have loved to see this in the theaters. I think it would be great. I got to see it at home. It was dope. But I would love to see it in theaters. I think it would be great to experience that way. Overall, I love the movie. It's one of my favorite movies of the year so far. I've got to be honest. I really enjoyed it. Again, I want to hear your thoughts. I recommend it if you haven't seen it. Let me know down below. Comments, questions, concerns. Do you agree, disagree with anything? But until next time, stay safe. Be well.
Adiós.